Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Lily continued through the maze-like realm where the Minotaur King awaited. I can't believe she beat up a giant cyclops and got a cool reflecting shield. With another victory and a new tool, Lily was closer than ever to finding her brother. And hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Blossom Tales 2 The Minotaur Prince. We are back in Blossomdale because there's some side stuff we can do. In particular, I've been working on the letter collection, letter delivery side quest. And I've got one for the Emerald Jungles. But while we're on that, I'm actually going to try to go back to Morkla and See if maybe I missed a couple of pieces of heart while I was there. I did some research into this because I'm missing quite a few. I still have three hearts that I haven't found, three heart containers. So that means there are nine pieces of heart still outstanding somewhere. And obviously I want to find all of them. For that, however, Got to deliver this letter. Oh my, it's a letter from Steve. He's my new boyfriend. We went on a date last week. I'm going to get busy writing a response, but what should I say? I always end up rushing things. Maybe I should deliver mail. Thank you and wish me luck. Good luck, I suppose. You were complaining that there was not much social life to be had out here. done. Now I want to find that traitor guy. Pretty sure he's up here. Yep, here he is. I believe he wanted flowers from the labyrinth, which I have quite a few of now. Yeah, look at that. Eight of each, and I have about 20 of each. That's everything I have to trade. I've got enough food to last all year, and that's all I need. I don't have any more items to trade, but thanks for all the food. So what, you eat flowers? Okay, so that's done. Let's see, what next? So I said I wanted to go up to Morkla to see if I missed a couple of the pieces of heart there. And I don't need to have the uh, accordion out anymore. Hmm, what should I have instead? Bombs? Anyway, Morkla is over here. Head east and then north. And here we go. Looks like I can't talk to her anymore. Oh well, she wasn't all of that interesting a conversationalist. Let's see now. 
Where was it? Double explosion. Take that. Uh, hmm. That kind of looks suspicious. Haha. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I actually looked it up. There are two pieces of heart in each of the three dungeons. And since I'm missing so many, I thought maybe that was one of the places where I missed them in these dungeons. Um, where am I? Okay, I'm a bit lost. Where am I exactly? Okay, there I am. Okay, this room doesn't look like that here. Hmm. This room looks different on the map than it does out of the map. On the map, this part isn't there. Huh. Someone made a mistake when designing this. Okay, if I remember correctly, the other piece of heart is way up there in this room. And I'm not even sure how to get back there. This place is pretty maze-like. But it looks like... I want to go through the entry room, go north. Go north two rooms, and then east from there, and that should get me there. Problem is how to get through. I think I want to have the water up to get through that room properly. Hmm, does the mirror shield reflect this guy's thing? Nope. I didn't think it would. It would make sense for a mirror to reflect a laser, but... Knives? Yeah, not so sensible. Okay. Now, let's see. So, I go north again. And then, in the second room, go west. Although, now that I look at it, I think I need to have the water down to go... No, west, east. I think I need to have the water down to go east. I do, and fortunately there's a switch to do that. Excellent. This ought to be the place. Gotcha. Okay, so it ought to be up here? Yeah, that looks like it. Yeah, this this version of a cracked wall blends in really well. It's no wonder I missed it before. Lots of stuff to pick up in here. Okay. 
Okay. That should be everything from here. Now I just gotta get out of this place. Alright, now I hit the switch again to refill the room with water and swim on out. Alright, that's Morkla finished. The others, I'm going to have to look them up again, so I won't do it in this episode. I'm actually pretty sure I got both pieces of heart in the Haunted Mansion up in Periwinkle Woods. But there actually is something else to do up there. So let's get going. So, while I was looking things up, I discovered that apparently it is possible to get this farmer guy's chickens out of his house. Why he doesn't do that is not exactly a mystery. I mean, <laughs> normally the way you end that sentence is, oh, it's a mystery to me. No, it's not a mystery to me. It's because he's lazy and he's waiting for me to do it. So let's see. Oh, come on, pick it up. There we go. So. Hmm. Do I have to walk out with it? I can't. Oh, that's interesting. Seems like they just leave when I drop them there. I don't throw them, I just walk to the door and drop them. And they leave. Because this guy's stupid and can't do it himself. Or rather, as I said, lazy and doesn't want to do it himself. Stop slashing with your sword, Lily. You know what happens when you do that in Zelda games. I hope he doesn't just give me money. A nice piece of heart or an energy crystal. Now I can finally get back to work. Or nothing at all. Huh. Jackass. Ah, well. At least that's one outstanding issue that's been dealt with. Blossomdale. And see if the post office has anything new for me. I 
I found that letter to Blockburg. Actually, I found a bunch of letters. Not only that, while I was digging around, I found a special item, and I want you to have it. Okay. You deserve that, but anyway, back to this package of letters for Blockburg. We don't have any kind of records for the villagers. Try delivering them to Hector again. I'm sure he can figure out who they belong to. So that's the name of the place in the middle of the maze, Blockburg? Alright. And for once I get to foist my work off on someone else. Hector can do this part for me. Oh, hi. I, um, I've never met someone new before. We all know each other here. Hey, Hector. Special delivery. You're back, and you brought a box of letters written by people outside the labyrinth? Thank you so much. For the first time in ages, our people won't feel alone in this world. I'll make sure everyone gets a letter. Before you go, can I ask you for a favor? I have a box of letters for you from the people in town. Please take them back to the post office for me. Huh, okay. We're not finished yet, eh? Nice dress. Did you make a die from our tree leaves? That's genius. He's asked me that before. Alright, so I got the piece of heart, but I still have something else to take back. Interesting. Well then, let's see what this is worth. Thank you. There's nothing in the world that I like more than a box of letters. Another package came in while you were gone. It needs to be delivered to the Sky Wizard. Gray beard, pointy purple hat, you've probably met him. He lives northeast of town. Okay, this is getting kind of silly, but... I mean, I've got the piece of heart. What else is there left? Is there another piece of heart or an energy crystal, maybe? Hmm... Anyway, the uh, Sky Wizard is right here, as I recall. Yep, this is the place. A mushroom. Ah. Can't get close enough. Irritating. But oh well. Oh, thank you, Lily. I didn't know you worked at the post office. This must be my new telescope lens. It was made by a master craftsman in the labyrinth. He's especially good at working with gems. Have you met him? You should meet him. I should have a great view of the upcoming conjuncture. Conjuncture? Did I ever tell you about the time I landed inside of the darkest part of the forest? It was like a maze in there. I had to use the stairs to find a path out. No, well, I believe that's the first time you've ever mentioned it. Tempting to go back to Blossomdale and see what's next, but there's actually something else I want to do. And it starts with the balloon landing pad immediately outside the labyrinth. Because this is the closest landing pad to Flo's flower shop. I 
I don't need to go to the flower shop itself. It's just on this screen. Although I'm not sure exactly where. Pretty sure it's up here, though. Let's see... Over here, I believe... Ha ha ha! Hmm. Ah, here we go. This looks like the way through. There we go. The tenth honeycomb! Yay! Yeah, I found that one by... You know, while looking up stuff. I've mentioned that. Let's see. So, the queen bee should be immediately to the north. So if I just go across that yo-yo pit and keep bearing north, I should find her. Yo-yo pit. I need the yo-yo, don't I? There we go. Further north? Hi! You've done it! You've returned all our honeycombs! Take our most prized possession, the jeweled honeycomb. Use it to call my worker bees to your aid. So I got a swarm of attacker bees now, huh? Thank you again, kind knight. My bees are forever in your debt. Yay, I gave you back your pollen vomit. Yeah, you can definitely keep that. What, you didn't know that honey was bee vomit? A lot of people like to joke that it's bee urine, but they're wrong. It's bee vomit. Enjoy that knowledge the next time you decide to have some in your tea or whatever. Alright, now what? Back to Blossomdale, that's what. And rather than walking all the way to the uh, nearest launch pad... Sky Wizard is a little weird, but I sure do like his hat. This next letter is for Steve. He lives in the Sunkiss Canyons. Hmm, I don't have a house address for him. You might have to look for him. Oh, that's fun. Steve. I mean, obviously this is uh, the love letter from that lady in the Emerald Jungles. But I don't remember for sure where Steve is. If I ever knew at all. Oop, wrong. There we go. Enjoy the music, folks. Lily is playing for you to make up for, you know, summoning the Minotaur King and all that. Okay, Steve. Natural place to part to start would be the town. Let's 
But on the other hand, Steve could be the archaeologist. He could also be the trader guy. Do I have a Gulixer? I was just... I, it just occurred to me to think, you know, there's a graveyard right there. And I thought before that maybe I should take a Gulixer to all the different graveyards to see if I can find someone who I can talk to. Just like I did in the Blossomdale graveyard. And no, none of these are Gulixer. That's irritating. Hmm. Well, let's see. see Steve yet. Hmm. No one with a letter icon above their heads. Hmm. That angel disguised as a beggar woman is gone, but her blanket and cup are still there. Well, that's not Steve, because he doesn't have a letter icon above his head. He was writing a letter on his table there. And that's not Steve. Steve. Hmm. And that's not Steve either. Hmm. Have I tried shooting this target yet? I think I have, but I'll do it again just in case. Okay. So it appears that Steve is not in town. Let's go over this direction. Maybe the trader guy's name is Steve, but for some reason I got the idea that his name was Steve. But I could be misremembering. Anyway, I know he's over here. A letter symbol above his head. Hmm. So either his name's not Steve or there's more than one Steve in this game. By the way though, it's not him. Okay, let's see. Where else could it be? You know, that structure in the bottom right corner of the desert there, on the same screen as that little dock at the bottom left corner of the Emerald Jungles, I'm pretty sure I've never been in there. I don't remember why, but I believe I didn't actually go in there before. Hmm. I'm going to have to check that out. But not right now. Now I have to find Steve. And of course there's also the Colosseum. I haven't done that yet. And maybe Steve is in the Colosseum. Which happens to be right here. Uh, no, 
none of these guys have a letter symbol above their heads. So much for that idea. Alright, let's try the archaeologist. Ah! You, you little jackass. Did you see that? It was right next to me. I didn't even have the chance to do anything. No, oh, you're not Steve. Some people like this kind of comb blindly for the person you're looking for, for the person or thing you're looking for style gameplay. I just find it frustrating. Okay, is Steve this guy perhaps? No. Keep an eye out for the last combat scrolls. Last it where else could Steve be? Somewhere in the Sunkissed Canyons is all that guy said. Hmm. Maybe at the dungeon? The desert temple? That doesn't sound right, though. Maybe with the witch? North of the graveyard? Hmm. Or maybe that... There was a... In that eastern section of the desert, there was a treasure hunter, wasn't there? Maybe that's him. That's quite a long trek. It'd be faster to go to the Emerald Jungle and head west from there. Or go to the balloon pad south of the bridge into the Sunkissed Canyons and then swim across the river. I could do that too. Let's try the Emerald Jungles first. Way. Not while I'm trying to summon the balloon, alright? the skeleton. Only temporarily, though. The dummy ran right into my sword. This might be a good time to check this out. Huh. That uses up a lot of my green meter. damage it would appear. Right then. Or rather, left then. Now 
where is the yo-yo point that takes me across? Okay, it's one screen to the, to the south. Let's get the yo-yo out. That place, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. I don't remember whether or not I've been in there or not, but I don't believe I have. Let's take a look. Okay, this thing's still up, which implies rather strongly that no, I haven't been in here before. I have not been in here before. This looks like a place to find a combat scroll. enough for that. Okay, these guys. Hmm, let's see. What should I hit them with? Let's try bombing them. Um, bombing them, Lily. Not yourself. working all that well. Okay, that worked. Alright. I guess that did the job. Could have been better, though. Well, let's try the bow. Yeah, hit me through that wall if you can. Oop. They can't shoot through the torch, but I can. That's cool. Ah. Stop that. Please sort it. Yes, that's better. All right, more skeletons. So this thing. This one wasn't too bad. Okay, combat scroll. The last one. So apparently the Colosseum does not have a combat scroll in it. And apparently Steve isn't out this way. No, wait. I haven't checked that adventure or treasure hunter guy who I was thinking of before. Okay. He's further north. North and a little bit west. Okay. 
Aha! Uh -huh. Thanks for the letter. I know I'm not easy to find. Let's see. Great Gobi's ghost. She wants me to move in? I... I don't know. I've had my heart broken before. That's why I became a hermit. But Sharon is quite a gal. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl what she thinks, but any advice? The heart wants what it wants. Yes! Hey, you're a sharp one for your age. Thanks again. It's nice to see another adventurer out here. You're in the way of the ladder, dude. Thank you. Okay, so you're not going to move in because, you know, you're still standing up there. It is a bit of a big step. I mean, apparently you've had a single date and only known each other for a week. Alright. That's a fair amount accomplished. Running low on time, unfortunately, so this is going to be a shorter episode. I can get up to the combat school easily enough. Well, and at the end of the last episode, I said I was going to take care of the green, slimy water problem. Looks like I'm not going to get to it this episode after all. Hmm. Well, next episode for sure. Head to the Desert Temple, and then go left, up, and right, and I'll be at the Combat School. Ah. Stupid cactus, you're gonna pay for that. Anyway. Where was I? Come on, give me a heart or something. Ah. See you found the last combat scroll. I will decipher it for you. The pictures in the scroll show a powerful attack called the Orb Blast. To perform, hold down B until your roundhouse is charged, then release and immediately press Y. Huh. Now that's kind of interesting. Press Y too early. Okay, just die already. Thank you. Jerk hit me three times. Three hearts. Hmm. Two hearts now. Hearts are kind of 
rare in this game, actually. I've been noticing that lately. There's... Sometimes it seems like there's not enough of them. Hmm. There's offering shrines. I've finished all the ones here in the desert, in the jungle. I finished all of them everywhere. Okay, we're good to go on that. Come on, give me some more hearts. Alright, down just half a heart. does not kill grass. There we go. Got all my hearts. And now... I think I've been putting the Colosseum off long enough. That's the first thing we'll do in the next episode. So, viewers, as I said, slightly shorter episode this time. But yeah, I've just run out of time in the real world. So thanks for watching Let's Play Blossom Tales 2 The Minotaur Prince. In the next episode, we'll finally take care of the Colosseum, which I should have done a long time ago, really. And then we'll head back to Blocktown and take care of their water problem. After that, well... I guess we'll just keep on creeping towards the end game, as it were. At any rate, see you next time. Thank you.